Good morning, guys. How are you? Um, by the time you see this, it may not be morning, so good afternoon if it's afternoon. But for right now, we're going to say good morning. Today, I am going to show you my next unit that I'm going to be making. It's a little short one. It's kind of on the vibe to me, the curl. Of, uh, I'm going to attempt to put it on the vibe on um, a Marilyn Monroe type of look. Um, it's actually about maybe this long to my neck. I'm not sure the measurements on this hair here. But the style of the hair is Opal. I'm sorry, Oprah. And um, I'm going to show you the colors, the two different colors. I have separate colors. But I have two packs of hair. I may not use all of the hair, depending on how full I want. So let's just get started and I'll show you what's going on. Okay, here we have model, model, some people say model, model, but the word looks like model to me twice, because that's how you spell model. Okay, now this is 100% human hair, this is not a mix at all, and uh, I've already done the burn test on this, guys, trust me. My price point was only $22. Okay, uh, this is the pre cut weave, it's already been cut. This is the T27, and I've already taken the liberty of taking one out the hairnet. Um, so you know, we won't be fumbling here trying to get the hairnet off because sometimes they had that stuff down like fork knots, you can't hardly get it off. Okay, now this one, like I said. I actually I said here was the T27, but it's actually um, 1B27. It's a T27 and a 1B27. Okay, now it starts to look, and I'm not sure if the camera is picking up on that. It starts to look a little dark to me, and it gradually fades to a slightly lighter as it goes to the bloom, which is good. It's showing you the transition. Curls. Those curls are popping. Now this I do not have a lace closure for, so I'm gonna make my own little closure. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually this one that's open. I'm only gonna I'm actually gonna split the webs. So in the top, you know, you don't get that bulkiness. That's how you avoid that bulkiness. But only in the top area or the crown area there, I will have these. Um, Maybe like the size of a dime or not even sure. They could probably be the size of a dime. And that's going to be my closure. I think I have some glue. <laughs> I better have some glue. If not, I'm going to have to sew that down. But, um, yeah. Look at that curl. It just bounced back. Now, hopefully it's going to maintain this curl once it's been shampooed and conditioned. That I don't know. But hopefully at some level it will. If not, you know, this hair can be curled. And uh, I wouldn't flat iron it, but hey, if you want to flat iron yours, if you get it, by all means do that. But I got it solely for the purpose of having that curl. Look at that. How I just twirled it. Let's do it again. Around my finger and let it pop back. So that's good enough for me. Okay. Now we're going to move on to the next. Let's put that to the side. And the next I have... It's uh, A740, and A740 consists of 27, number 4, and 30. I thought that color was pretty. I was actually going to get two packages of the same, but I didn't want that look right at where I'm going to make the area divide, like more to one side. I'm going to have it to where more of the hair is to one side, so it, you know, create my own parting, if you will. Okay, here. You got your 30, you got your 4, and then you got that lighter color, which is that 27. Isn't that gorgeous, darling? So, I am going to put this on the bottom, and then 
which is pretty much the same mixture here, but it's like highlighted. So this is going to be highlighted above that. So if you will, that's how that's going to look. Okay. I'm going to do that like that. show you the cap that I'm going to be using. This is stretchable. I like this cap. This cap was five. Hopefully I got this in focus. $5.99. Okay. This has the bra strap style on the back so you don't have to worry about the hooks coming undone. You just slide that over to the tightness that you want and it fits pretty good. Okay. And, uh, it's stretchable. It's a Excuse me, it's a deluxe stretching weave cap. Hopefully you'll find that at your local beauty store. But I'm going to show you this pan over here. I'm going to show you what it looks like on the mannequin. Okay. Zoom in a little here. Okay, let's make her lean forward so you can see the cap. It's thin, it's lightweight, you can get your needle through. You can even get your needle through here if you don't put it, well I wouldn't put it through the entire thing, but you can because you can actually, you actually, it's not thick there, and you can actually put it through or you can lightly feed it. But either way it go, I'm definitely going to have this sewn all the way down. So I got all everything covered. No cap is showing whatsoever. Let's see here if I can turn her around. Oh, she also has the little ear, ear tab thing here around the, uh, the temple area, I should say. And that's pretty flexible as well. It's kind of like maybe a little wire. And you got your elastic here, so don't sew all the way. Let's see, put my hand here. Don't sew all the way through that because that's gonna make your weight cap tight, and you won't probably won't be able to adjust it. If you would just sew through that or the material that's actually over the elastic, that would be good. And then you got your little tab here at the nap, the nape of the neck. Okay, uh, I'm not even going to sew through that. I may put one piece of hair there and just go on, you know, all the way around. U shape on this little mama. Okay, I tend to uh, have my hair parted to the right. So what I'll do is I'll start on my left here. You know, I think I may do like a little swoop, just a slight little swoop right here. That way I could follow, you know my tracks as I want it and then this way that way everything will fall to that side so when I do put this wig on my part will be on my right side let's just say I mean I, I meant the right did I say left <laughs> I put this here on the right side and that way everything falls to the left I stand corrected so yeah that's how I wear it I wear my parts on the right side I, either way if I wear a part on the side, it's either going to be on the right or the middle. Okay. So you guys stick around. Thanks for watching. I'll be right back with the finished results. Okay. Enjoy your day. Be right back. Hi everyone. Hello and greetings to you all new and old subscribers. Thanks for my new Patreon. And thanks for everyone that has been supporting my channel so far. Um, today... I finally got this baby made. I'm just going to sh uh, share with you real quick what I did. Hopefully I won't stay on too long. And of course, and I'll let you see what I look like in this unit. So, that's up to that. But, uh, this is my take. This is, um, what I'm, uh, inspired by as far as, uh, Marilyn. Mar my Marilyn Monroe look. And let's see, it's pinned up. Of course, there's Marilyn there, but she has short hair. But here, I uh, I wanted to go for something a little more chin length as this picture here. 
Now, I did brush out the front of my unit to see if it could look like that, and it can, but I'm not going to focus on that right now. What I am going to do is bring her back. I'm going to rock it like that. That is my, that's why I said inspired by my take, which means not exactly, but close enough to where you know what I'm talking about. Okay, uh, give a quick little 360 here. Okay. There's the back. Look at those curls are popping. I wish I had some Chris Brown music. But anyway, yeah, those curls are popping. Look at that. I didn't even touch any of that. The only thing I did touch, which I was uh, trying out to see how my... Uh, my wands and my barrels will work with that which is this front here and you can't even really tell it, it looks like it's all curled like that but I actually did wand this part right here right across the fork I did that and it does pretty much mimic that curl which is how it came okay and I love how it turned out I was I'm glad that I did buy the T 27-1B27 that's how it is on the package but yeah I'm glad about that because I think that's why they named it that because you have the 1B here and then if you look real good get the transition a little bit lighter here from the 1B then it drops to 27 which is awesome because the uh, underlay of the hair here which I have it from the ear down so from the ear down on each side is this color here and this color here is uh, let's see if I can zoom in a little bit closer okay that's that one B I'm sorry that number four I stand corrected number four number 27 and the 30 mix that's what that is and then the T27-1B27 drops down on that and I think that was a good combination I'm glad that I did it that way okay so uh, you know it would have a more realistic look as if you know it was mine <laughs> it's my amazing achievement but uh, if it was you know actually growing from my scalp per se and uh, that's how I would color my own hair. I'm not sure if I would have all these colors mixed things. Maybe I would, maybe I would. Maybe if it was frosted on the end. Yeah, maybe I would. But you know, definitely up here in this area, that's how it would be. And I definitely wanted that because, let's tiptoe forward a little bit. Uh, I wanted that to be covered as much as possible. I made that closure myself. Of course, it does not come with the closure on you do took maybe about four and a half five inches of hair uh, of course this is single weft it and I rolled it really tight and I pressed down with my fingers I waited about 20 seconds then I tapped it a little bit held it into my flat iron not very long because I didn't want it to, ha to have that necessary flat look but you know still have a raised look okay now uh, here what I did as far as the front area um, and I'm going to try to hold it down because it will slide off. Uh, here I went underneath, the, I turned the cap inside out first. Turned the cap inside out and I sewed one track of this uh, T27 down. So it would cover up my cap. And let's see if I can just split it open. See, that's the cap. So if you don't do that, that one uh, track from the inside, that's what you'll see. Well, I didn't want that because, you know, the wind may blow or I just may move uh, the hair back out of my face. I could be talking to someone. Even if I'm talking to my man, oh, I want him seeing that. So <laughs> I uh, put that one track underneath that. I just experimented like that a long time ago. So I put the one track and I did it from top temple here all the way across the next temple. And um, from the brow down to the ear, on each side, it's still double wefted because I had a little bit of the T27 left over. But in this top crown area, this area here, and of course where it lays, all of that, and including my closure that I made, all of that is single wefted. 
so I split those tracks I split okay each package comes with three little bundles of hair and I use one entire bundle and I split that in half so that's how I did my crown area and as you can see I don't have the big bulkiness because if you were to sew that in you can do what you want but I'm just trying to help you out um, if you want that more flat more natural look in the top and you wonder why it doesn't look bulky and sticking all up that's because I single wafted that and everything else is double wafted I did not split the tracks and I did use the entire two packs of hair um, that I purchased now I am going to tell you if you do not split um, the hair sorry guys my mom is growing out if you do not split the hair in half to do this crown area you're gonna probably need an additional pack of hair you probably be, would use two and a half packs so it's just best safe to buy three packs if you're not gonna split your webs okay you may want to like really big and thick in the top I just didn't want that but if you do want that you're gonna need three packs of that hair as to where I use only two and then inside of the two of uh, the packs only split one little bundle of hair Okay, uh, I don't think that I left anything else out. Uh, if you have any questions, you can ask me. But of course, as uh, you see when the video first started, the hair is by Model Model, and uh, it is 100% human hair. It is not a mix. I did do my burn test, and the burn test consists of uh, you know when once you burn it, it has that smell as if you had singed hair, and when you go to press it, it just pretty much turns into dust. That's human hair. Uh, if you burn it and it does not do that and it just goes into like this little melted ball and you go to press it, that's synthetic. But this is human hair. And uh, I'm going to let you guys again see me in it. Hopefully you like this video or this unit. You thumbs me up or if you want to just send me a little shout out or a message, that would be great. And I just want to say now, thanks for watching guys. New and old. Bye bye.